Good morning. It's Tuesday, the 1st of June. So white rabbits. And I'm sorry about yesterday. I really don't know what I was thinking about, you know, and I know obviously there's 31 days in May and I just completely, it's just one of those things. So I'm sorry if I misled you or you was all saying white rabbits back or something like that. But today is definitely the 1st of June. And here I am by the lighthouse at the Mull of Galloway, which is the most southerly point of Scotland. And I drove here this morning. I stayed last night in that wonderful place, Glen Luce. I went and had a few beers with uh, my new Australian friends, which was very nice, absolutely wonderful people. I had a chat with the, uh, the landlady as well, as you saw, and uh, I met a couple of lads as I was walking back to the van after I'd been to the pub and one of them was, was, was a young lad that uh, I'd met at the bus stop and asked him the question about the buses and he's a fantastic lad and he's 15 years old and he was so polite and it was just it was an honour to talk to him and he was a lovely lad and he had his friend with him who was 12, 12 he looked, he looked more like about 16 but um, again very polite, very well mannered a credit to Scotland, I'd say. You know, they were lovely lads. So what am I doing here then? So let me just explain this. When I woke up this morning, I thought, right, I need a day off. I had a bit of a tough day yesterday. I keep you know, saying to myself, have a day off, have a day off, have a day off. Well, I decided to have one today. And so what I did, got my map out and had a look around the area. And I was honestly thinking about walking here but I was unsure because it's 24 miles from Stranraer to here, which is a long way. Now, you might think, oh, well, that's easy, two twelves. Well, it's not like that. I wouldn't fancy two twelves. I mean, it's absolutely dead straight road, really, and, and, and it would be a hard walk. There's no cafes, there's nothing, there's no services until you get down to the village, which I'm going to take you to, called Drummond. I'm going to have a look there and... Um, see what that's like and, and it, they say it's a very nice place and that's the most southerly sort of town or village as well and it's you can, I can see it from here actually and it's it looks really nice and I drove through this morning and uh, it, it looks there's a, a few characters there they've got all kinds of uh, things going on there I can see that it's going to be lively and so what I'm trying to say to you is I'm not going to be walking from Stranra to here I mean, I know it's my walk and I'll make my own decisions, but I think I would be foolish, apart from the fact that there's buses to contend with, and my experience of buses hasn't been that good recently, and also, even when you get to Drummond, you've got to walk, I'd say maybe a good six, seven miles, or maybe, maybe no, maybe five miles from, from there to here, and back because the bus doesn't come here to the lighthouse at the very most southerly tip it stops quite a lot further back so you consider that you know we're, we're talking about maybe a three or four day walk whereas i would much rather be heading north than heading south and so i've decided just to have a ride today and look at one or two places and share it with you um, I know there's a couple of people who will be very keen to see this kind of footage of being at the most southern point and that is one is Jan de Jong who lives in Arnhem in Holland and he loves Scotland, absolutely loves Scotland and last uh, September 2019 when I was walking the east coast of Scotland he was very helpful to me and uh, invited me to go and stay with his friends who were very nice people and that was that was great and uh, he's got a lovely young family and uh, very nice people and the other person is my friend Clinton in Kent who's following my every move and keeping in front of me and recommending different things in different places was splendid chap and I'm quite sure he'll be very keen to see this as well you know, there's there's a definite history and a definite feel about this, and please don't misunderstand me. But uh, I've I've walked, you know, on this five thousand mile walk, I've been to the most northerly tip of Scotland. Now I've been to the most southerly tip of Scotland. In the UK, I've been to the most southerly 
place, you know, Land's End and, and the most, sorry, not Land's End, Lizard Point, and, and also the most westerly point, which was um, the, uh, yeah, uh, Land's End. And also the most easily point, easterly point as well. And uh, so, you know, this is it. This is this is this this is the whole lot now. I've done them all, and, and I'm pleased to think that I've done that. And okay, so I've driven to this one. I don't. When I say I don't worry about what you think about that, I'm being sensible. You know, it's an awful long way, and if anything was to go wrong, I've always got that in mind. There isn't a, a good bus service. You would. How would you get a taxi from a place like this, and how much would it cost? And as I said, I'm not really that interested in walking 24 miles just to see this. You know, with that in mind, plus the fact that round the corner there's like a restaurant and toilet and everything all locked up, closed. Where you know, what if you needed the toilet or? You know, you need a, a cup of tea or something like that, or you need to fill your water. You know, it's it, it's. This was a good idea to come and check this out, and uh, I can I can sleep easy tonight knowing that I've made the right decision as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so I'm going to drive down the coast now and uh, go to uh, Dunmore, Dunmore. That's right. Yes, and uh, see if I can get a cup of tea and uh, I'll speak to you later and uh, what I might do tonight instead of going staying in Stranra which I'm not in a rush to get there but that's where I want to leave when I, when I start heading north but I still need to do the walk from like yesterday from where I walked to Glenluce I still need to walk from Glenluce in to Stranra, so so there's no point in really staying in Stranra tonight. It's not important. I've got food. I bought some lovely stuff yesterday in Gordon. I got some mushrooms, even though there isn't mushroom in here. There's enough room for some mushrooms, <laughs> and um, so I'm going to go to Port Patrick because uh, the Australian people I was with last night said you can't miss that. If you go on a night, it's a good atmosphere, even early in the week you'll, you'll find somebody to talk to and that's what I want to do the most and, and I'm told it's a wonderful place and loads of people have said you must go to Port Patrick so that's exactly what I'm going to do so I'll see you later
I was just walking past this bus stop and I, I did see these books probably about half an hour ago. I've been for a walk around the town. And I agree with you, there's not a great deal to it, is there, Dale? Nothing at all. I think it's there could be a lot more. I think a bit disappointed, if yes. I'm honest with you, Jim. A yes. bit disappointed. Yes, yes. And so, uh, are you all, have you always lived in Belfast? Then? Yeah, well, my yeah. whole life, yeah. That's, that's your, your town, your city. Mm -hmm. First yeah. time being in Scotland, yeah. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. I've been, I've been to uh, the Southern Island and I've been across to uh, Limerick. Limerick. Uh, that was good, but I did some fishing on the Grand Union. I think that's in Southern Ireland. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah. Lovely. But I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to getting up to Northern Ireland and, and uh, having a walk around. People tell me it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. See the yeah, North you Coast. Yeah, should come. Yeah. Absolutely, the North yeah. Coast, brilliant. Really, this really is what is. they say, and, and, and a lot of people have said it's very much like this county we're in now, which is Dunfermline and Galloway. Mm. It's very green, and yeah. it, you know, it's very orderly, and Absolutely, you don't yeah. see any litter and all that kind of stuff. Mm. I mean, I've got to say, the Scottish people are wonderful. You know, they are. They're, 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 they're very, 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 very helpful. helpful yeah. Yeah, yeah, I find them very. That's what we were saying. Actually, as soon as we we get off the, we got the ferry over. Yeah. The first few people we were speaking to were like, it's, it's, it's hard to believe we're not in Northern Ireland. You know, I think there's so so much similarities between yes. Scottish and Northern Irish people. Yes, I um, agree. To be honest. I agree. I agree. Anyway, I hope you find what you're looking for when you get to uh, Dumfries. But of all the places, I would recommend that. I mean, unless you used to go up the coast, you might mm. find something a bit more. You know, yeah. the, the bus that runs up like towards Glasgow, that follows the air coast. Mm -hmm. And there might be some places that, that, Fingers that crossed. have a look. Yeah. Fingers Are you crossed. here for a long time? Yeah. We're actually only, we're going home tomorrow night. I think we just we just wanted a wee day trip, but we'll, just I think get tomorrow, out of Belfast, really. I <laughs> yeah. think tomorrow we'll, we'll probably um, have an early rise and then maybe try and hit Glasgow or yeah. Kilmarnock for, yeah, yeah. for a wee, a wee um, walk. Yes. Um, definitely. That'll be great. And so, I mean, you know, finally, it's where where is the ferry terminal? Is it in? Is it this side or? So it's that it's down that direction. Now, don't ask me where it's because I don't know honestly. But, but that's it, where the ferry is. Yeah, it docks it's it. over there yeah, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> because the railway station's right over there. I, I couldn't believe that I saw it was a railway line here. Yeah. When I've looked on my map, it, it, it goes more or less quite a long way inland before it goes. That's right. Through. It goes up further north. It goes north before it comes back down on itself to Dumfries. Apparently, if, yes. from what I've been told. Yeah. Um, that's why we're actually getting the bus, but yeah, yeah no, well, apparently it does. It goes up by Kilmarnock and yes. Glasgow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the best of luck, lads. It's just yes, yeah, best very of luck, briefly, right? you know, just a brief hello, and you know, I hope you enjoy, I hope you continue to en enjoy this side of the water, you know. And uh, if you keep in touch when I do come over next year, you can come and see you. We'll Absolutely, one hundred percent. Go and have a few beers. Absolutely. You should be around. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. Jim. Nice, nice to meet you, lads. You too, yes, mate. You, Thank you. you too. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.